Windows computers are notoriously bad at keeping accurate time, even when connected to the internet. Now this can be important for us as portable ham radio operators, especially if we're doing FT8 or any of the other digital modes that require a very accurate time synchronization. So I'm going to show you in this episode how you can use either the GPS from your ICOM 705, but if you don't have an ICOM 705, you can use this tiny $12 GPS dongle with an app called BKT Time Sync to sync your time, no internet required, this time on KMRD Radio Stuff. All right, so there's two things we need to do on our 705 first. We're gonna hit menu, go to set, and then go to connectors. Then on menu three, three under connectors, we're gonna go to USB B function, where it says GPS out. We wanna turn that on, then we can exit out of there. Then we're gonna go menu again, we're gonna go to menu two, we're gonna hit GPS, and we're gonna hit this GPX TX mode, and we're gonna change that to NMEA. And we can exit out of there, and that is it for the 705. Now the next thing we need to do is download a program called BKT Time Sync. So we're just gonna type in BKT Time Sync in Google, and we're gonna look for this maniaradio.it. We're gonna go to BKT Time Sync. It should look exactly like this. And we're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says download BKT Time Sync. Download that and install it. Now that we have BKT Time Sync installed, we can go ahead and make sure that our 705 is plugged into the radio and into the computer. We also want to make sure that it is receiving a GPS connection. Now we can check our device manager to find out which COM port our uh, 705 is on. Now, because we enabled USB-B, we're going to see two COM ports. In my case, I have COM port 12 and COM port 13. COM port 12 is the regular radio's COM port. COM port 13, or the second COM port that you see that should be underneath it, uh, is gonna be the GPS or the USB-B signal out. We're gonna need to set that in BKT Time Sync here now. So now we can open up uh, BKT Time Sync. It does this every time, just hit yes. And now here we have the program. Now we can use enable NTP, you can, you can actually use this to sync over the internet. In our case, uh, we just want this enable GPS button uh, checked. Now here we're gonna check, uh, we're gonna change the COM port, we're on COM 13. Now you don't need to set a baud rate. It, uh, I just randomly picked 9600, and you'll see that it automatically synced because I've already had this. Now if this doesn't work for you, close the program once you've changed the COM port and then reopen it and it should work. You should just see right away the GPS coordinates here. It should say time sync was synchronized using GPS receiver. It should be that easy. There's, there's nothing else to configure in this. So now let's say we don't have a radio that has GPS built in. We can get this tiny little GPS dongle off of Amazon for $12. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description. And you can plug this in. You're gonna have to wait a minute for it to find the GPS satellites, but once it starts blinking green like this, we know that it's acquired some satellites, so we can then open up BKT Time Sync again. Hit yes to allow it to get in. Now in this case, we need to change our COM port, so we can go to our device manager and find out what COM port this one is on. Under ports, we can see that now we have this USB serial device, and for me it's COM 14. So I'm gonna change this to COM 14. If it doesn't automatically connect, again, close the program. In my case, it automatically connected. If it doesn't, close the program, reopen it. Now we see our GPS data here. We see that the time was successfully synced using the GPS receiver, and now our time is perfectly synced using GPS, and we can decode all of our WSJTX signals in perfect, accurate GPS time.